Okay, so we'll try to do the DHCP version 6 uh, guard lab. So the DHCP guard feature in IP version 6, um, I'm not sure if it will work in the lab, but I will just try to show you the syntax, how you will configure it and how it should work. But uh, again, I'm going to repeat myself, no guarantee that it will work as expected in the lab, um, but in the real environment, it should work. So let's get started. So the topology is we have a R1 router and we have a rogue router and we have a switch which is responsible for uh, filtering the DHCP messages in for IP version 6 packets. So switch basically it should only allow packets on Ethernet 0 slash 0 because this is R1 and R1 is our trusted DHCP server and on the right hand side we have a rogue device and uh, it's connected on ethernet 0 slash 1 and it's configured with the uh, ip version 6 uh, unicast address 2002 db8 colon colon 111 colon colon 1 so 2002 2001 and to make sure that this feature works your windows pc in this case it's windows 7 pc it shouldn't get 2002 ip address it should only trust the dhcp advertisement from the router r1 so let's get started. So what I have done so far is I have disabled all the interfaces Ethernet 0 slash 0 1 2 to suppress the noise of router advertisement messages. And uh, again, if you're not sure how IP version 6 DHCP works, you shouldn't watch this video because uh, you must understand how IP version 6 works in the uh, in regards to DHCP. So if you don't know how DHCP in IP version 6 works, please check out my previous video. I'll post that link um, in the video description. And then this will be your second step basically after you understand how DHCP works. So let's get started. So far I just disabled the interfaces Ethernet 0 slash 0 uh, all the way up to 0 slash 2. So you can see these are the shutdown. And uh, let's get started. So first I'm going to the router R1. Okay configuration terminal and let's open rogue router and r1 side by side okay let me increase the font size okay so on the router r1 the first step i'm going to do is ip version 6 unicast routing enable the ip version 6 unicast routing same on rogue router Interface Ethernet 0 slash 0 IP version 6 address 2001 and DB8 and let me create a DHCP pool as well really quick now I'm going to the interface Ethernet 0 slash 0 on the rogue router side and give it IP version 6 address 2002 And let's also create a DHCP pool here. I, you can see the mess, but I was trying to create DHCP pool here. So I'm just going to do the same thing here. But uh, in this case, this is a rogue device. And I'm going to say DNS server is 2002, colon DB8, colon four times one, colon colon one. That's it. And then I'm going to give it domain name. Here I gave a r1.lab. I'll say rogue.lab. Okay, exit, and now go to the interface, Ethernet 0 slash 0. Again, if you want to follow along, I assume you have understanding of IP version 6 DHCP, how to configure it, how it works. Uh, if you're not sure, check the video link in the description. And I'm going to assign it IP version 6 DHCP, and what pool name did I choose? Ah, okay, R1. DHCP server R1. Okay, got it. Interface Ethernet 0 slash 0, IPv6 DHCP server, and then what's the, okay, the pool name is rogue. Great. So now at this point, the rogue router and the R1 router, they both have would have started uh, router advertisement messages. 
So let me try to capture the Ethernet 0 slash 0. And I should have the advertisement messages. I'm just going to pause the video. As you can see, this router is sending the router advertisement messages. This is a, it's a local link local address, FEAD something something colon 100. So let's verify that. So let's say show IPv6 interface Ethernet 0 slash 0. And yeah, this is the, let me close the Wireshark. We don't need it. Go away, buddy. Okay. So the router one, this is the link local address and we will need that when we are creating access list. So at this point, what we have so far is they are configured with their own respective IP version six. They are sending the router advertisement messages. Now is the time we start configuring our switch for the DHCP card feature. Okay. So first we have to create the ACLs. Second, we have to configure the DHCP card policy and third is the apply that policy. So let's create the policy first. I'm just going to copy paste the commands on the switch if it works. Okay. And then I'm saying permit host. And then we want to permit R1's link local address, which is I'm just going to copy paste from here. And this is the command I use show IP version six interface ethernet zero slash zero. And I'm going to say permit host from this host to any. Okay. And that's done. Now you could also create another ACL. So we created this ACL. You can also create another ACL, but I'm going to skip that part. So let me remove all those commands because I want to make it easier, not uh, complex. Okay, this goes away. Great. Okay, so now we create a DHCP card policy on the switch. Okay, so we created access list at this point, and now we are configuring the uh, policy. And now, let me do this side by side. And I'm saying device role. Actually, I'm going to skip that, but. Uh, that's only if you have multiple policies, um, but I'm going to, you know what? I can apply it. It doesn't matter. Device role, a server. If you're wondering what are the device role, you can assign client and the server, but I'm choosing that server. And then we're saying match access list, match server access list, link local verify ACL. So it should match router ones. Okay. Why? Oh, I must go back to the same and now paste it. So it, I'm saying match server access list link local verify ACL. So here, in order to permit any traffic, it should match router one's link local address. Okay. So we're saying that we only trust this link local address, or router one's link local address, when we are exchanging the DHCP messages. All right. Now that's done. I'm going to exit that policy and basically now I go to the interface and apply the policy to each interface. You can apply the policy to the VLAN, but since it's the lab environment and images don't really support that feature here. So, and on top of that, we're trying to do bare minimum because this is the lab interface ethernet zero slash zero. Okay. Done. Interface Ethernet 0 slash 1. Okay, done. Great. So now what I have done so far is we are filtering traffic based on router one's link local address, which is this address. And then every time we are getting the router advertisement messages, we are filtering based on that. And according to the access list, it shouldn't permit Rook router because this this doesn't pass our uh, requirement of ACL. And let's go to the Windows PC now. Mm, let's restart that. Okay. So in, if you remember, I turned off all the interfaces in the beginning. Show interface status. Okay. You can see 
these interfaces are disabled so I'm just going to enable those interface range Ethernet 0 slash 0 to 3 okay so now this boot PC is booting up and as soon as it boots up it will start sending the router solicitation messages going for uh, uh, IP version 6 address request and uh, let's see what happens I highly doubt that this configuration that we did will work because it's a lab environment so, so I already gave a disclaimer Just going to pause the video because this identifying status will take a long time okay I'm so glad that this feature worked so as you can see our Windows PC is online and even though the rogue router is sending its IP information 2002 DB8 colon colon 1 but our PC is only choosing 2001 because our switch is filtering the traffic from rogue router and uh, to check that let me see show IP v6 DHCP guard policy okay so we are uh, applying this policy this is the name of the policy and then we're applying that policy to Ethernet 0 slash 0, which is this interface, Ethernet 0 slash 1, which is this interface, and it's saying source match address, access list, link local, verify access list. Just a recap, let me show you, show IP access list. Wow, oh, show IP version 6 access list. And we're only permitting this IP. Okay, and where is this IP? It's R1's link local address. So thank you so much for watching video and uh, please subscribe my channel for more amazing videos. Thank you so much. Bye.